This week we're coming to you from BFG Paintball in Germantown, Wisconsin, and this week we're going to be doing a little bit of myth busting. You see, it just kind of irks me when I hear people talk about one gun having more range than another gun, and so we're going to see if that's actually true this time. Yeah, we're doing this as myth busting, but you know, no, no cheesy stashes or, you know, yeah. Okay, so let's say that there is one gun that magically shoots further than another gun. Now, I'm not talking about the flatline yet. That's a whole other story to itself. But just your standard paintball guns, because everybody says that one gun shoots further than another gun or, you know, whatever. Okay, fine. We've got a uh, cone set up behind me at 50 feet, 75, 100, 125 feet. And, you know, unless we happen to live on another planet, I'm willing to bet you that all the paint's going to fall within a 10-foot circle down there. Now, is this hard science? No, this is pretty much pseudoscience. There's not really a whole bunch of controls in this, I'll admit that outright. But you know what? If people are willing to buy steel forward technology, I don't see a problem with doing this. So our standardized test is going to be putting the gun on top of the chronograph. Our chronograph is about four feet off the ground, so we're allowing for some droppage here. And uh, we're going to see how far our phantom shoots. Here we go. Okay, so our next test gun is going to be the Piranha Long Barrel, which might possibly be older than some of the people watching this show right now. Okay, that was about 280 feet per second. I should also mention this too while I'm thinking of it. This thing's deep in a lot when I'm shooting it because this is set up for indoor velocity and we're now shooting at outdoor velocity, so... That's why this thing, this thing starts to wail at 250 or higher. So our next gun test is a blowback semi-automatic. This one in particular is a Viper M1. Everybody knows blowbacks have no range, right? 274. All right, the last couple of shots are in the 270 range, and those were just barely making it to the 100, uh, the 100 foot cone out there. You know, while we're on the topic of blowback semi-automatics, this is a rental that I borrowed from the field. It's probably shooting about 230 or 240 right now, so let's see what this one range is at. 243, and I kind of lobbed that one, and that one barely made it to the 100 foot mark. Let's go a little bit higher on the firepower scale. Here's an autococker. Everybody knows autocockers have more range, right? Because the closed bolt thing? Everybody knows that. This ought to be fun. At 285 feet per second, it lands just short of the 125 foot mark. So I'm going to call out about 120 feet. I know you all were expecting to see this one, aren't you? Because, I mean, everybody knows automags have no range. At least that's what I hear. Okay, averaging about 285 feet per second. The balls are landing about halfway between the 100 to 125 foot mark. So... Once again, we're going to call it about 120 feet. Gosh, I'm so surprised. All right, now when you consider that there's variance between shot per shot, and no two shots are going to be exactly the same over and over and over again. There's variance in the paint, there's variance in how much air pressure is behind the ball. This is actually a pretty tight grouping. Now the point is that between 275 feet per second and 300 feet per second, this is about it. This is pretty much where all the shots fell, within 25 feet of each other. All things considered, I think we can pretty much guess that all guns shoot about the same range. Okay, so wait a minute. Time out. If you don't get more range from a longer barrel, and you don't get more range from a different paintball gun, then what does that mean to all the stuff that you read in the magazines that they guarantee like 30 more feet of range? I'll tell you what, that's called hype. You can buy into hype if you want to. That's your prerogative and it's your money. But me? Well, I'll just stick with what I know works. Now let's also war on the topic of range. Let's try to bang another myth out of here. No, I don't want to use the word bang. She bang, she bang. Keep your day job, okay. 